Now the bed goes through two kinds of motions. There's a, a tilt mechanism and then you'll see what we call the sled comes off on a cable and a track system. I'm gonna run just one at a time. What we do is we bring the bed certainly beyond almost to a 45 degree angle. You're gonna see it's gonna come out past the side of the truck quite a bit. So this system has been engineered with AutoCAD. So this has uh, really been tried and tested inside of a computer first. And all the range of motion has been established to ensure that it operates properly. Uh, this is the second motion that we go through. So it, a cable mechanism and a motor is allowing it to slide off. And one of the changes we made on this design is we've implemented a great big wide roller that this slides on. So we've tested this well here on soft grass. Um, I can take it onto some hard pack gravel and even loose gravel. And it seems to work very, very well. When it gets down to this point, it slides across it quite nicely. So there are limit switches uh, in all of the positions, so it can't go too far in one way or the other. There's some big toggles that get hit when it gets to its limit or range of motion. And you'll see that I can press the button as much as I want, and it won't do anything beyond what's safe. So there's our full range of motion. We've got it down on the ground. What I'll do now is I'll take those rear chocks off and I'll drive the smart car. If you're feeling adventurous, you can run two of the buttons at the same time. So you could be pulling that sled in at the same time as you're articulating the main hydraulics. my guard dog trip you can see the UPS man is having fun but as you can see it took me longer to put the four straps on than it did to load the quad and put the deck on the truck you can find us at toughlift.net or give us a call 208-661-3100 
Find us at toughlift.net, T-U-F-F-L-I-F-T.net, or give us a call at 208-661-3100.